Hi, I'm Barry Sahajan. This video was a follow-up to another video I did, Advanced Bass Harmonics. And uh, if you want to check it out, I'll put a link in the uh, description below the uh, video itself. And I decided to continue this on because in that video, I kind of laid out how the, uh, how the harmonics fell on the neck and everything. And uh, I explained this vertical uh, positioning is how the, how, um, the harmonics fall naturally, natural harmonics. Basically, I'll review just, just quickly that the, the harmonics I'm playing are on the, uh, the third fret, fourth fret, fifth fret, and seventh fret. But I have to uh, make a note of the third fret. It's not really the third fret. They call it 3.2. It's actually what is considered to be two tenths beyond the, uh, the third fret. So you play it there. You can see a sl That's considered two tenths, 3.2. And then you get the four, which is right on the fret, the five as well, and the seven. I'd like to continue now with the slow version of the demonstration piece I played in the introduction. It's also going to have tablature so you can see exactly what I'm doing. I think this is kind of important. If you want to develop playing scales and melodies and melodic things with natural harmonics, this would be a good place to start. It's a lot of fun to, to execute this rather than just playing exercises. But after that, I'm going to go into some phrases and scales that you can also practice to develop a vocabulary of natural harmonics so you can play creative, melodic, natural harmonics in your solos or in your composition. So, here it goes. So as I said in the first video, I showed you a few things. I showed you that uh, between the, the uh, fourth and fifth frets is a half step, and, and between 3.2 and 4 is whole steps. Now let's, let's uh, explore a few more um, intervals that, that happen here that are interesting. The octave. Now on the uh, fifth fret and 3.2, there's an octave. 
probably didn't know about that. Okay, you must understand there are, there are only two complete scales you can play with natural harmonics. That will be the D scale and the A scale. I'm going to go through each of these scales and show you how to play them, and among other things. But first, let's get back to, uh, we were playing a root and a third. Let's play a root third fifth, a major scale. Major chord, rather. A G. A D. An A. And an E, E major triad. Now, it doesn't sound like much, but if you mess around and put other things in there, you know. Do something like that, switch around, you, know, you can make it sound like something and perhaps put it in a solo somewhere. One thing I, uh, I noticed that you could play that sounds pretty nice is play a root fifth, now root third fifth in the octave. I, I really like the way that sounds. Now let's try a scale. Let's try the A scale. An A scale. Do it again slowly. There's your A scale. Of course you can descend as well. D scale. You can try that descending too. Thank you for stopping by to view the video. I hope you enjoyed it and got something out of it. Maybe it can help you in the future with your playing. I ask that you please subscribe. I got much more to come and also feel free to leave a comment, ask me a question. I'll be sure to respond. See you in the next time.